I think there are a lot of adventurous Scandinavians. People love skiing. We have these small ski resorts in Sweden. But then we go outside because we want to explore. So we come to the Alps and uh, we find these communities where people share the mountain passion. And we tend to come back. This trip was all about going to the Scandinavian hotspots. We started out in Chamonix, a lot of Norwegian there, and Swedes. Chamonix has always been like the, that mysterious place with the biggest mountains you can go to. One of the reasons I think there are a lot of Swedes in Chamonix and, and in the Alps in general is that we don't have that many mountains in Sweden. Mountains in Sweden are more like round, but in Chamonix you really get huge mountains. If you're fortunate enough to come and see these bigger mountains that we have down here in the Alps, that brings a different energy to it. I think that you're very easily smitten by. When traveling around with Luisa, it's pretty fascinating. It's like sweets everywhere and she knows everybody. For me, it's like coming home. You get to meet all the other Scandinavians, which love exactly the same thing as I do. <laughs> There's this word of mouth thing that goes on, where somebody's gonna have done your journey before you, and that is special, I think. I definitely think that having Swedish friends here helped a lot, because especially here when the mountains are so dramatic, it's definitely easing into it, having a community of friends from before. Robert, Robert, like, he's doing, every time he's skiing, hugging big cliffs. And Robert, he did the same. Norway conditions are not the best all the time. So if you're a serious skier, you go down to the Alps and just go bigger. What's the difference between Swedes and Norwegians? I don't know. My girlfriend is Norwegian, so I can't say too much bad about them. I like them. Not so much in sports. It's always been like a competition between Norwegian people and Swedes. Nice day out here. Guess I better ski this run before the Norwegian does. We actually own Norway from the beginning. But no, they are pretty rich there, so we are a bit jealous. But coming here to the Alps, we are pretty much the same. First time I came to Engenberg was in uh, 2002. When I came, this other hotel was packed with Swedish ski bombs. And that's kind of nice, because you feel home away from home a little bit. I think the reason why Norwegian and Swedes go to the same places in the Alps is because on one hand we're adventurous, but at the same time we're a bit shy. I think all of the Scandinavians are here to ski and they feel that I will never outgrow and I will never be too skilled or too strong for this place. There will always be new challenges and there will always be a community of people from home to share it with. A 
as a skier from Scandinavia, going to all these famous places in the Alps is a pilgrimage that you really have to do.